So this is how you would ring up a membership in MindBody, uh, regardless of the type of membership. It's, it's super easy and straightforward now. You just select the correct membership type and everything else is pretty much done for you. Um, and now it's complete with tracking and, and all things so that from a commission standpoint, it should show up immediately on the correct uh, pay scale and correct time frame, all that kind of stuff. So we're logged into MindBody. We go to our retail screen and we would select the client that we're selling the membership to. If they're a brand new client and they have not been entered into the system at all, then we would add them as a new client. Uh, if we've already added them, for example, if they've done a trial membership uh, or trial class, sorry, um, or for whatever reason, if they're already in there, or if you created them in a different screen, you can of course look them up. So we'll use our test client. We'll pull them up. We would go to contracts. And then now there's a complete and total list of every membership type included, of course, with the student or government discount membership type. So you don't have to change the membership in any way, shape or form. It's already loaded to go with the correct enrollment fees, all that kind of stuff. Um, all the correct commissions will be tabulated automatically. So, so for example, let's say we're selling a uh, student or government discount full program 12 month membership. Select the membership. Contract start date will default to the next upcoming 1st or 15th. So because today is the 7th day of the month, the automatic deduction will begin on the 15th. And so we would select prorate so that the membership would be prorated from now until the 15th, and therefore being active. We would deselect the pay now button on membership dues uh, because we don't want to charge the full amount since we're prorating the rest of this period until the 15th. Uh, if you were to sell a membership on the 1st or the 15th, then you would leave the pay button highlighted so that it would charge that amount. Um, enrollment fee is already correct. You can see it tabulated the prorated amount here. We of course want to keep that paid now. And then we go to commission and you would select your name under the commission for selling the membership. If it's going to be a split between you and somebody else, then you could select that person's name in the split with category. Next, add item. First selection we'd make is the automatic payment method. So it has to be a credit card or debit card. Um, if they don't have it already on file, we'd of course enter that information here. If they wanted to do a split pay, for example, pay cash for the first payment, then you would highlight the amount, select zero. And that way the auto pay method is still selected as credit card. Uh, but there's a balance of the payment for today, which is just the enrollment fee and a prorated amount of the month plus the applicable taxes. So then you could select cash if you wanted to. And they'd still have their automatic payment method set up as credit card, but could pay today's cash if they wanted to. Um, that's what you want to do. Save and print. You could print the credit card receipts. They could print it or manually print a cash receipt for them if you wanted to. Then you go back to your client tab, pull up their account details, scroll down to the contract that we just sold, which is this one here. View the agreement. And then of course, print it out so that we could have them initial and sign and provide them with a copy. And that's it.